Hello everybody, Frankie Day for Frankie Day Models. Okay guys, for this gorgeous, hot, steamy, humid Friday afternoon, I have for you video number six from a 1946 Cleveland model and supply company, Beechcraft Bonanza V35 model. Okay guys, she's on a downhill spinal, uh, spinal child dump for the uh, final reveal and uh, right now I got the wings on and uh, I'll cover the wings next and uh, the fuselage are pretty well finished I got to put the uh, I got I got some more detail work I gotta do on this thing so I'll probably have about maybe about two more videos coming up I have a probably next video will come up with the wings uh, in place and, and and painted and everything and doped down and and uh, and down to carry John and uh, and and uh, some details I'll be doing on that will be on the next video. It'll be number seven. And number eight will be a final reveal. Then I'll move on to something else. <clears throat> okay, guys. Um, before we proceed with the with the build. I went down there and seen Russ down there at Smitty's Hobby Shop. So any of you great fellows out there were traveling Ohio way, like going to Air Force Base and see him, right Patterson Air Force Base and see him, uh, swing by Wilmington, Wilmington Pike. And it's called Smitty's Hobby Shop, Ohio's most oldest hobby shop. And uh, see Russ and the boys, they'll take care of you right there. And uh, they give a good discount on plastic. Real good, they got everything in there, guys, everything. It deals with vintage kits and uh, kits that are up to date nowadays. Was coming out a lot of good models. I got this yesterday from uh, from Smitty, from uh, Russ. This is a beaut of a kit. This is the Kitty Hawk OS2U Kingfisher in 132nd scale. Now I kid you not, guys. This. Th this is probably one of the best kits that, that this company has ever produced. It comes with PE. It gives you abundance of uh, options. For example, on the box art, you got one on here aboard the USS West Virginia. All the battleships that were at Pearl Harbor, this is the vintage of the paint schedule done on OS2U uh, Kingfisher. It was probably uh, it was uh, like a dark sea blue. No, it was intermediate sea blue with uh, light gray undersides. Now, the kit gives you an option. That's the first option. The second option is right there. They give you the wheels and the floats. They give you the pre-war color scheme, which is all aluminum with yellow top and red tail. That's with the wheels and with the floats. On a different, over here, this is the top deal here all these options right here they gave you all these paint schedule deliveries that can be done in this kit i'm going to do this one here the uss arizona that was probably on her back in 38 or 39 but of course they uh they changed the paint schedule to uh immediate uh, uh, sea blue and um got rid of the uh the pre-war shiny, colorful uh, Golden Age aviation colors. Okay, we're getting back to the Beechcraft. <clears throat> so I decided to throw it in just for like extra spice, guys. I haven't yet commented on the uh, on the video number five because okay, I've been too busy. Uh, I will comment it this evening, and I'll get back with you guys and answer you back. I, I read them and I never forgot them. Well, Frankie Day keeps everything in his head right here, and I don't forget. Okay. Right now, we're going to turn around and swing behind me. I got stills. Again, on this video number six, I got construction stills. And I will, uh, I will announce through them uh, what was done. And the, the final, the, the final uh, construction uh, still will be at, at the stage that now, which I'll show you uh, after the, uh, the stills. Okay, we're going to zoom in a little bit and go through this, guys.
Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, right here, guys, this is the top that goes on the center of the fuselage. The fuselage has been all covered. Now it's time to add this on here. I got the vanilla card folder stock. This is the best goddamn card stock you can actually use for card modeling, such as this kind of work on card models. I erased that center line right there with the eraser right here, that pencil. I got a little too heavy on it when I was marking my center lines. I made this thing, I made uh, test shot pa test patterns on the, on the model itself, and I put it on, on the cardstock here. I just doubled around here and butt glued it across here and uh, took a burnishing tool and made it nice and flat and round. So this is out of vanilla cardstock. This is the cotton canopy right here. All been cut out and ready to go. There it is, the other, the other so uh, side of it right there. You guys get the picture now. Pilot, passenger in the back of the windscreen, and this gets over the fuselage. There's another perspective view. Okay, test fit time. Fuselage is all covered, they're all ready to go. So I went ahead and uh, test into the canopy. Voila! Not glued down yet, just laid there. It just, I just let go. It fit, fit itself real good. Now I got painted up. I got the trim. The masking tape on there. I masked it off. This is the color schedule we did back in 1947 and 46 on the Beach A lot of them, most of them, were aluminum colors with red trim, like this here. But I decided to make it red because now I saw red ones before with the gold trim, like this. Airbrush about two coats of butrate and nitrate dope over this whole structure before I painted the pinstriping gold, even on the tails. Another view right there. All the tissue on the thing is starting to tighten up real well. There's the other side of it. Done. There's look at apt. Done. Tissues tighten up real good, guys. All these little puckers are gonna are disappearing. Yesterday was 90 something degrees in this room yesterday. I forgot to turn on the air conditioning in this room. Along with the heat and everything, it's really made that tissue tighten up real good. I like that. I got the celluloid. This is all scotch tape. Not scotch tape, it's packing tape. Shipping tape. You find these in dollar stores, all department stores. What I did, I masked them over and just laid it across here and burst it in. I sprayed about three coats of that Aerogloss uh, nitrate and nitrate 50 50 dope mixed together. There it is, a license number. You see the say, you see the the the, the, the celluloid, the windows, how nice and clear it is. Use packing tape, an old school method of using. Well, you didn't have acetate back in those days. You use packing tape. It's the best there is. Anybody likes to venture in and stick the tissue models like this right here? Most stuff you buy like electronics, anything, has acetate. Save that acetate, guys. Save it, put it in a box, get a bunch of it. It comes very handy for making windows. Okay, thumbs up. I'm pretty happy right now. I want this few saws tight. See, it's starting to tighten up already, guys. You can see how it's tightening up. Now, after this pose was taken, I was, I was uh, putting my tension on the wings. Fitting in the tax bars, but I got a spar right there on that bulkhead. I laid two pieces. I didn't show it on the last sail. Two pieces of timber on there. It made like a key. That spar slid right in that key. So I opened up the side of the fuselage here for that spar to fit. But on the leading edge of the wings, I had to put a filler block in there 
make sure it fits flush across there and glued on that stringer and also that spar will go through and glued to the bulkhead. That wing is secure guys, ain't going nowhere. There it is right now. This is the stage of that now. As you can see, all nice and flush in here. There's hideous wheels right there. Them things weigh. I weighed this thing. It's sitting on a scale. No, it's sitting on its undercarriage. There's right there is the undercarriage. I gotta turn them on my lathe and make scale struts out of them. And I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom of the strut and I'm gonna epoxy uh, music wire there. That'll be the axle for my wheels, which is the close of this box right here. And uh, so right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start covering the wing. These wings are very, very true and straight. You got the Clark Y airfoil. You can't beat the Clark Y airfoil. That Clark Y airfoil locks in the, the incidents of the wings. No, uh, no propeller wings. Well, one they did going up, one going down. It's straight. So what you do with this right here, always make sure it's straight. You lay the tissue on, do it wet. When it's wet, you can let it dry. You can maneuver the tissue a little bit. And you can pull out warps and everything while it's still wet. Take a hair dryer, very low heat. That's the best way to do it. Shrink it with uh, denatured alcohol and water. Windex works excellent. Just because it's blue, it don't leave no residue. Okay, there's Smiling Jack right there in the purple. Next view, thumbs up. And uh, that completes uh, that. Fear saw is starting to really tighten up now, guys. It's looking like a beach cap bonanza now. No shadow about it. Okay. Here I is, guys. Okay, oh, yeah, here this is. There she is, guys. We gotta finish up the window right there. Already got it cut out already, ready to ready to install. I use this to attach my windows. It's very good glue. Aileen's tacky glue. This is stuff I use on card models. This is magic in a bottle. You can build card models. It's good for gluing transparencies on your models, such as I did right here. And uh, believe it or not, guys, when you guys work on small airplanes, little small, small windows, even ships, portholes like that, you don't have no crystal clear laying around. This will do it. This is the same formula as crystal clear is. Well, this stuff will dry clear and look like crystal clear from micro scale. This is good stuff, guys. Every model should have this on his bench. Okay. There it is right there, guys. Next, I'm going to cover the wings and do some tuning up here and there and detail work on the fuselage. And get back to your shooter here. Okay, here I am. All right, guys. It's a hot day today. It's about 90 degrees outside. It's very hot. It's going to be hot this weekend. I got things to do with places to go this evening. And work ain't one of them. I call it off and say, I got to go in today, guys. I got too much going on around the house. And that's the benefits of being retired. They do it my way. And my way is this way okay all right guys uh this is the conclusion of video six for the beachcraft finance by cleveland models and supply like i said with two videos we'll make this video a wrap make us build a wrap uh next video the wings will be covered and i don't care to be all done and uh the final reveal will be everything and uh, less prop. So then let that fuselage tighten up the season a little bit before I add any rubber to it. I got a pound of one eighth rubber I got from Penn Valley Model Supply. I think around about almost 30 bucks for a pound of that. It's good rubber. And I'm going to put it in my uh, TBF and hang it up there by Gwillow's. I got a, a Gwillow's Japanese 0A6M2. 
Pearl Harbor, 1941, from the Kagi, all gray with black anti glare panel and black cow. And uh, that'd be it. Okay, guys, uh, so stay tuned for video number uh, seven. That'll be the construction of the undercarriage, the covering of the wings, and the next last video is going to be the final reveal. And the pregnant will move on to something else. And uh, a lot of bills shaking your way, guys. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for uh, tuning in. And I always make mama happy and make yourself happy. And make your children happy, your babies happy. Take care of your affairs, the model last. Stay focused on the road, driving, spend wisely. And uh, take care of yourselves and, and God bless you guys. Because Frankie D loves you guys. And uh, I'll get back to video number five and, and uh, comment back to you guys. Let you know that I met him. Okay, time for Frankie Day to sign out. So stay tuned for video, uh, stay tuned and stay posted for uh, video number seven. Shaking your way, boys. Shaking your way. This is Frankie Day out of here. And uh, I'm going to take the rest of the day off. The only way to go. All right, guys, let's see you, fellas. God bless you guys. Bye, boys.